We're going to move on to another story that we were going to bring you at the top of this newscast. Figer firing back at Mike Morse just moments ago. Figer released a new audio recording that he claims is his rival attorney confessing to groping a woman. Ms. Simon Shikhead is standing by live outside Figer's law office in Southfield with what it revealed and how Morse is responding to these allegations today. Simon? Yes, but first I have to tell you what an unusual press conference this was. It started with attorney Jeff Figer kicking out another television reporter just over there. Why? Because she would not share a statement like others uh, from Morse's defense counsel with Figer prior to the press conference. So this all happened here from there. Jeffrey Figer playing an audio tape of a woman allegedly getting... Uh, Michael Morse to talk to her about allegations that he somehow made unwanted physical advances. The incident at Stephen Lely's on the Green Restaurant months ago has gained public attention, and Figer maintains this is one of several instances involving women and Morse. Take a listen to the audio tape where Morse is discussing what he feels bad about and what had happened. However, he does not admit to breaking the law. How do I know that she's not setting me up? Like, that she's not going to, like, like set me up, you know, if I apologize. I, I'm like, not setting him up. Me. I just want him to know that, like, I have all the evidence I need. Okay, now just yesterday, prosecutors in Genesee County announced that there would not be any criminal charges after a thorough investigation in this matter. We asked Attorney Jeffrey Feiger about that. The prosecutor assistant woman in charge of sex crimes recommended and Mr. Layton, for whatever reason, and I don't know who he is, what he is, I know nothing about him, uh, wrote that press release yesterday. Now, Attorney Deborah Gordon is representing Michael Morse. She says in a statement when he was told by a friend of Miss Swain that all Miss Swain wanted was a meeting and an apology, he agreed, hoping to defuse the bizarre situation she had created. Miss Swain clearly tried to entrap Mike, but all she got were kind words and a general apology for a non event. At the conclusion of the meeting, Miss Swain, in the presence of witnesses, gave Mike a large hug. In no way was this meeting an admission of misconduct. It was Mike's attempt to deal with a clearly confused and possibly unbalanced person. This statement adds Mr. Figer thrives on circus like press conferences but they do not change the facts or the law this press conference is just another of a series of desperate attempts by Mr. Figer to harm Mike and gain publicity for himself now one other important note Figer telling us today he's also planning to take this up with Attorney General Bill Schutte while pursuing five other civil cases at this time all those cases are pending live in Southfield Simon Shaquette 7 Action News all right Simon thank you for that live information